Great. So I'm here with Tom Green from Counterpoint Arts. How are you? Very well, thank you. Good to be here. Good, good. Um, you just delivered a fantastic lecture. What were you hoping for people to take away from your lecture? I think the most important thing for me is to see the range of ways that artists are responding to these questions around migration and refugees. The number of things... in producing their own artwork, doing participatory pieces and going to communities where maybe artists haven't always been going in the past. Mm. And tell me please a little bit more about Counterpoint's arts. What is it, the work that you do and what are your aims? So we work in a range of ways on the arts, refugees and migration. Our aims are to support artists, to give them access to mainstream venues and to increase the broader appreciation of migration and refugees in the wider population. Um, we are in Refugee Week right now. Um, what was the concept behind Refugee Week? And tell me more about your events as well, please. So there are hundreds of events across the country for Refugee Week. One of the main things is to create spaces where people can connect and interact, people who wouldn't maybe normally meet together, mm -hmm. to use cultural spaces and cultural events so that people can have shared experiences to realise that there aren't such big differences and to give them a positive way for communities to move forward, to understand what refugees bring to this country and also to see that there's a shared future for everyone together. Is there an event that's your favourite or your, your particularly... <laughs> well, I'd have to be... At the, so Counterpoint's Arts has its own programme of events. Yeah. We've got some amazing events here at the VNA. We've also got a gig on Sunday night in Camden with the amazing hip-hop artist Loki and a series of other rappers at Coco, which I think is going to be incredible. And how important is the arts for refugees and non-refugees to express themselves, for people to express themselves? Well, I think everyone, whatever their background, whatever their situation, needs arts and culture. It may not always be recognised in a formal way, but just to live, we need to express ourselves. And you find whenever that's taken away from people, mm. that deficit is recognised. So we think, first of all, everyone should have access to the opportunity for self-expression, to experience art, to participate in art, and also access to the greater art that we have so much of in this country. That should be for everyone. Mm -hmm. And that shared experience of viewing, of participating, can also be a really powerful thing for society as a whole. Actually, we need society to be cohesive, and arts and culture is a brilliant way to achieve that. And how do you combat... Um actually people who have had a negative perspective of the arts and trying to to rein them in and experience the arts as a positive I think lots of people have had negative experiences. I mean, you can take individual examples. Probably the famous one would be someone who's had been forced to read Shakespeare at the age of 13 and hasn't really understood a word. Mm -hmm. What you find is there are brilliant people everywhere who know how to address that. So just, you know, in London... The Globe Theatre is a fantastic place for opening up Shakespeare, for example. Many museums and galleries, if you can get people in through the door and show them the thing, explain to them, make them see the connection to their own lives, sometimes that's the key. Of, so migration actually is a brilliant way to do that. Mm -hmm. Everyone has a migratory history in their lives somewhere. Arts is all interwoven with migration, so that can be a great way in for people to appreciate but it shouldn't be about lecturing people. That's the main thing, or making people feel they have to do something. There is arts and culture for everyone, and it's about finding the right ways to engage people. No, I, d I definitely think that's correct. I mean, um, with the migration, how it does affect everyone, and it's a good way to bring in people who might not really understand the theme of migration or arts as well on the whole. Um, thank you very much for talking to us. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Great.